Statutory Instrument Number 75 has gone into effect as of Monday, May 18, 2020. The Water and Sewage Water-Related Emergency Declaration Order is as a result of an exceptional shortage of rain and a serious deficiency in the supply of water. The drought conditions have seen the month of April recording only 14.3 millimeters of rainfall, way below the annual historical figures. Communications and Marketing Officer at Wasco, Sherian Williams, says the declaration of a water-related emergency will impose a number of stringent restrictions on the use of the portable supply of the precious commodity from the pipes of Wasco. The washing of vehicles using a hose, uh, the watering of lawns, hedges, gardens, farms, grounds and recreational fields, uh, the pressure washing of a house using a hose or watering a wash or washing a roadway, pavement, path or garage and outroom. Um, the, the use of water is also prohibited for concrete mixing and block making uh, to fill a leaking or overflowing storage tank and a swimming pool. Um, the tampering of Wasco's infrastructure to divert or abstract water from its own network is now illegal. Abstraction of water upstream of our intakes is also illegal. Um, any activity which may require the use of considerable or excessive quantities of water is also illegal. The new prohibitions come with stiff penalties for water wasters. A person who contravenes subsection 1 commits an offense and is liable on summary conviction to a fine not exceeding $3,000 or a term of imprisonment not exceeding 6 months or to both and to a further fine not exceeding $50 for each day during which the contravention continues. So the restrictions and requirements are very clear to the public in terms of what can and what you can use water for and what you cannot use water for. Wasco has also reinstated all services that were suspended during the COVID-19 lockdown. This includes reconnections and disconnections. Williams says the company is sensitive to the economic hardship caused by the pandemic and remains sympathetic to the plight of customers. We want our customers to know that those who are able to come in to pay their bills, we encourage you to do so. We are open for that. We also encourage those who are facing difficulties to come in to speak to us. Um, we're willing to work with you. We're willing to you know, come to a, a common arrangement that would put neither the customer nor the company at a disadvantage. So we want to encourage customers to do that and we want to let you know that we are good corporate citizens and we are not willfully you know, going around disconnecting people and so on. We just want people to understand that this is one of the services that we offer. It is no different from a reconnection or a new connection or any other service that customers request. The water emergency will remain in effect until further notice. Williams says 